What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host, once again, Jeremiah Dunn. Oh, I'm trapped in a box. Look at that. Um, got another review coming for you. This is another underground film that I actually enjoyed. I didn't hate. Would I watch again? Probably not. But I don't, I didn't think it was all that bad. Um, I'm talking about the 2021 release of Last of the Grads. Now, this one is rated TMAA. So, you know it's not super gore. You know it's not over the top. I'm only giving it a 4 out of 10, though. Um, it does run for an hour and 53 minutes. If you have not heard of this film, let's get you connected. A class of graduating high school seniors nearing the crossroads of their lives celebrate their last night together in the annual school lock-in. They never could have guessed that they're about to encounter the harbinger of death, the legendary coast-to-coast -coast killer. So, serial killer stuff going on. Love it. The beginning scenes was super cool because, well, I say super cool. I enjoyed it to where you've got these two abused kids that basically say F you to their parents and light them on fire. And that kind of starts the whole coast to coast killer thing going on. And the killer's going coast to coast and killing people and they can't catch them and sending cryptic messages, you know, back and forth to authorities and stuff. So it kind of builds up this legend to where people start to don't even believe it's a real thing. Anyway, Kind of a cool concept, you know, in that aspect, because I love serial killers and true crime stuff. I mean, first off, it is this is a B-movie through and through. I mean, the acting at times is just awful. Um, you know, it's pretty, I mean, it's okay, though, you know, cinematography-wise and everything. Special effects were actually really good on this thing. I was very pleasantly surprised. They did really well on those. Um, it definitely could have been shortened at an hour and 53 minutes. A little bit of too much fluff in there, you know, and kind of dragged on a little bit. I would have liked to have seen it a little bit shorter. Because um, I did at times, at, especially towards the middle and end, I'm just like, oh my god. You know, it's kind of dragging on a bit. But now, let's talk about what everybody always talks about with this movie, and that's Officer Greg. Who has, outshines everybody in the movie. Love his voice, love his character, love his acting. He just, he's, he's really the only reason you should watch this film. Because he's that good. But... Overall, not bad, not great, not mad I watched it, you know what I'm saying? Four out of ten, Last of the Grads, came out in 2021. If you've seen it, comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe, hit the death bell for notifications. I got more coming to you daily, stick around.